clear and cool for tonight. Roller coaster temperatures and we do continue with some very quiet weather conditions. Right now, let's go and take a look at the KTVO Skycam. That's located on top of the Kirksville City Hall, brought to you by Heritage House Realty and King's Appliance. We do show a little bit of increasing clouds across Kirksville. Temperatures still into the upper 70s. And along with those increasing clouds, could start to see maybe just a spotty activity of some showers uh, pushing through northeast Missouri over the next hour or so. Otherwise, That'll move out very quickly and those clouds will continue to thin. We'll continue with mostly clear skies as we're heading into the overnight. Temperatures will continue to fall. We do have a, a cold front that's going to sweep through the area for tonight as well as we're heading into tomorrow. In fact, the, tomorrow is going to be the first day of September. It's going to feel like September. That is for sure as we're heading throughout the day to, uh, Friday and into Friday at night. Uh, but I tell you, those temperatures right now, very nice. 77 degrees at the Kirk's Original Airport. Light winds out of the northeast at around 5 miles per hour. A time we're coming in equally as nice, 77. Plenty of sunshine, northeast winds around 14 miles per hour. So a little breezy out there. The latest drought monitor report came out for today today and still hanging on with severe to extreme drought in southeast Iowa, especially extreme drought into Ottumwa area, Wapalo County, a little bit better into northeast Missouri, Macon County, as well as southern and western portions of Sullivan County. So that's a little bit better uh, than uh, than what southeast Iowa. So we do need that rain. Unfortunately, it's not going to be coming for the next few days. Places that are not drying out right now. Take a look at this. The remnants of Harvey continuing to move through Memphis, Nashville, Tennessee area, and this can continue to push off to the north and the east, affecting Kentucky and the very southern portions of, uh, of Ohio into Cincinnati. Also, we're going to keep a close eye on this one as well. Hurricane Irma. Uh, now it's a category three. It's intensifying extremely rapidly, uh, continuing to push off to the west. We're connecting going to keep a close eye on this as we're heading into next week. So this is a long range uh, into next week that is going to be affecting the Caribbean and then possibly the United States. So it's made a category three right now, 115 mile per hour winds. They're expecting, I've been reading, category four, possibly even category five if it holds strength. So that's something to keep a very close eye on uh, throughout the next few days. Over the next few hours, what we're going to be waking up to a very cool temperature. It's 53 degrees at 7 a.m with mostly sunny skies. So overnight lows, we're looking at 53 degrees with light winds out of the northeast at around 5 to 10 miles per hour. Highs on Friday, we're looking a little bit cooler than what we did for today. High of only 76 degrees, and that's about 5 degrees cooler than what we should be for this time of year. Northeast winds around 5 to 10. But take a look at these temperatures for tomorrow night. We are talking into the 40s, 49 degrees. Haven't seen that for quite some time, but then it's not going to last long because we're going to start to warm things back up. 81 degrees on Saturday, Sunday, 88, and we are topping out 90 degrees on Monday for Labor Day. But we also do have a, a cold front that's going to sweep through the area Monday night, bringing us right now about a 20% chance of showers and thunderstorms and then cooling down considerably 15 degrees cooler from Monday into Tuesday 76 degrees as you're high on Tuesday overnight lows warming from that 49 degree tomorrow night all the way into the lower 60s over the weekend. Of course, anytime, check us out 24-7 at KTVO.com. So again, that's why I say we are riding the roller coaster <laughs> of temperatures up, down and around. And Fred and everybody else at Friday Night Football is going to like tomorrow's forecast. It right now <laughs> looks to be a-okay. So, yes. All right, thanks, Teresa. You're welcome. Coming up next, Fred